On the ball for the Phoenix. Soto. Always creating so much attention in the Philippines and down low, Robert Franks. It's just great offense. That out of bounds play, real good pick. A wide open layup for Franks. And now, Adnam draws. It can be a bit of a silver lining though for the Southeast Melbourne Phoenix because up until the last game, there was a lot of question marks around their bench production. We heard Simon Mitchell in the press conference, and there he is again, Dan Pinot, just in the right spot. Good job, at the right Junior time. Madut, but, finding him on the old board. So this, all the question marks around their bench. Now they have no choice but to play these guys. You get the confidence in them to continue to produce. By the time the season rolls around, it's business end of the year. Ryan Brockoff comes back, Gary Brown, Alan Williams. Then that bench is already feeling confident, and you're playing finals basketball. And we know how important the bench is in finals. They're going to be feeling really good about themselves. It's all about just continuing to steady the ship, get as many wins as you can until you get to full strength. And they're going to give this a <laughs> jump into the top six if they get this win. Dane Pino makes the back end after the big triple from Sunday Detch. 13-9 early in the first quarter on Christmas Eve at Adelaide Entertainment Centre. Southeast Melbourne having won seven of their last nine games. Adelaide their last two and again from outside Adelaide deliver. It's the same hand. Detch. Got to feel good Sunday. Detch went through a bit of a shooting slump a few weeks ago and last few games he started to find his stroke. Adnam blows past McCarran and drops the shot. Eight points already for Kyle Adnam. Listen, you know he's a threat from the three, so it has to be a hard closeout, but he put the ball on the deck again. Adelaide not doing a good job keeping the Phoenix out of the paint. Ooh, okay, okay. 